Buhari goes out begging, sends another message to U.S. government as he pleads and beg. Hello, my wonderful people. President Muhammad Buhari is going out begging because uh, he has exhausted the whole treasury of Nigeria. I mean, he has done, I mean, he has borrowed in every quarter. You know, he has borrowed from China, from Europe, from America, World Bank, CBN, you name it. You know, and uh, right now he's, re he's moving the begging to the U.S. You know, he's begging seriously because he needs money to spend, you see. It's not for him to spend, though. It's him, sa you know, saving money, uh, you know, uh, heaping money for himself. Don't forget that a few weeks ago, or rather a few months ago, we reported to you that the United States disbursed some amount of money to African countries and specifically said Nigeria should not be given anything out of that money. This is why Buhari is going to beg, saying, please, oh, we need money. Oh, we are in dying need of money. We need money. So Buhari now is going out to these people asking for money. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get to all the details. Buhari goes out begging, sends another message to the U.S. still begging. President Muhammad Buhari's regime has appealed to the U.S., U.K. and other developed countries to pay the $100 billion they promised to support developing countries to attain the National Detained Contribution, NDC, targets. Specifically, the regime environment, environmental minister, Mohammed Abubakar, sought the support of the UN to proceed and to help developed countries to redeem the NDC 100 billion pledge. Mr. Abubakar stated this on Tuesday when the UN Deputy Secretary General, Amir Mohammed, paid him a courtesy visit in Abuja. Recall that Buhari has gone, but recall that the United States has disbursed some amounts of money, but, but asks that Nigeria be excluded from the sharing of that money to the fact that the COVID did not hit Nigeria like it hit other federal, other African country. And as said as such, Nigeria should be excluded from that money and should not be given. This Buhari has gone back with the position that the national determined contribution was targeted at developing country and Nigeria is one of such not thoroughly developed yet. And so we are due that amount of money should be given to the country because we are in dying need of that money to help the situation of the country as at today. So this is what Buhari is saying to the U.S. that indeed though we need the money, we need the money, please give it to us. So this is the new normal now. Eh? Buhari goes about begging. If he's not borrowing, he's begging. Okay? If he's not borrowing, he's begging. What happened? So the U.S. disbursed a very large amount of money and gave to some African country, of which they particularly instructed that Nigeria should not get a share from that money. And they stated their reason. They said the COVID did not hit Nigeria like it hit other, like it hit other country that they have said the money should be given. Should be now you get your money. Now you say not give Nigeria, give this country, give this country, but not give Nigeria. This is what Nigerian government is going back again to say, ah, we need the money. Ah, we need the money, please. Eh? Still release the money for us. We want the money. This is what Nigerian government is now doing. Going back to beg and to ask and to beg for assistance that they do need the money. They want the federal go they want uh, they want uh, uh, Buhari. Buhari is asking that they want you know the money to be paid, that this money is not just being paid, uh, it is in line with the agreement that was sent before that uh, they were going to give um, this number of persons. Uh, it's not because blah 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 that they would have, that Nigeria really needs this money. So that's the problem, that's where we are, and that's what's going on now. Buhari has been borrowing, 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 borrowing. In fact, they will start using people's children as collateral. Very soon, it won't be long, they will start using people's children as collateral because Buhari has so, has so you know, go, gone ahead and have, you know, uh, borrowed. So much borrowing has gone into this current administration that, um, you know, uh, it's, it's rather very shameful and sad. 
that we don't have even all the nat na national assets they are all being used probably the railway that they borrowed money to do they will also use it you know as collateral at some point because i mean when you borrow 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 you have to give show that you can pay back the 2021 budget that is being you know being used now that very budget is one of those money that they've borrowed they said yes that they will use it to develop i mean i don't understand the develop then how do you intend to pay the money have you looked have you seen any of those trains they are refurbished trains they are not brand new trains the money that this country spent in refurbished buying refurbished trains can be used in you in a, in maybe let's say a country like the uk our colonial masters yes they can use those, that same amount of money to buy brand new trains you know go ahead and do this same whatever that buhari and his cohort have done because in case you are not aware the senate president gifted his new bride with a hundred million gift to that's not the money for the marriage you with a hundred million so this is what they do and it made after that came to nigerians to say ah you are wasting your time we will continue to borrow throughout this administration so that by the time the next person comes the person there is no in fact there's no money for the person to do anything there's absolutely no money for the person to do anything because they would have borrowed left, right, and center. Oh, yes. Buhari's administration is not only, you know, going after Nigeria, it's going after the economy to wreck it. To, you know, this is what happens when you don't have the right person in power. The, I mean, people suffer for it. When you have the, the, the wrong people in the position of power, these are some of the suffering that is associated with it. There is no, there is no cause to say, let me make things in order. You know, when somebody is not your father's son, he does not care how the money is spent. He wants to lavish it. Then he, he will be stealing money for himself. This is what Buhari is doing. Go to going to Nigeria Republic, which is his true home, to build the ray there, to build, uh, you know, to construct, you know, roads there. Because at the end of the day, that's where he will go. So when you look at it, Nigerians are at the losing end. That's why we must act fast. First of all, we must pray. You know, who told us the other time? Said if you are not happy with the way things are, pray to God who can take away the person and all that and all that and all that. So Nigerians, the body says in your court. Let's hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.